right. Uh, one of the questions on the groups, uh, Jimmy invests 15000 in an account that pays 11.13% compounded quarterly. In how many years and months will it take for his investment to reach uh, 20000 And uh, the thing to note here is compounded quarterly. So that's the most important part in the formula is that's your rate here. You divide it by four and then you raise it to four and then times N. Uh, that's a quarterly compounding formula uh, where N is the number of years. If, if it were semi-annual, semi if it were semi-annual, that would mean uh, it compounds two times a year, then you would use one plus R by two power uh, 2n. And if it were, um, let's say, uh, k times a year, okay, k times a year compounded, compounded, then the formula would be 1 plus k by 1 plus, I'm sorry, 1 plus r by k power k N. And of course, if it's just once, if it's just the annual, then the formula will be one plus r power one. So that's one plus r. Okay, so let's proceed. You've got 15,000 here uh, times this formula is uh, 20,000. So basically, you take 15,000, you divide it, and then you, know, you get the answer 1.33. Uh, because 20,000 by 15,000 uh, is 1.33. And then uh, you want to reduce this four, you want to remove the four, so you take the fourth root of 1.33 and you've got 1.0739. And then this formula should be easy. You get n is equal to 2.6. Let's, let's plug this formula back in and see if it actually does satisfy uh, this equation. So we've got one plus 0 0.0278, which is this percent divided by four power four times our number of years, because that's the formula, n is the number of years, and that's 2.6. And so we've got 1.0278 raised to 10.40, and that's four times 2.6. And then you can check the answers, 1.33. So 15,000 times this compounding uh, term is going to be equal to 15,000 times 1.33, and that's 20,000. 